Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie. Now our Jayco Journey Caravan just celebrated her first birthday. Rosie just turned one. So um, what I thought I'd do is kind of give you guys a bit of a look at um, the wear and tear over the last year, uh, modifications we've made and also any warranty issues we've had. All right, before we rip into it, this won't be a full tour video of uh, this caravan. Um, we've done one which I will link up top of the screen somewhere for you if you want to go ahead and watch that. Um, I will mention a few things in this video that we've made videos about previously. So if you are new here, um, I'll either put little um, links up the top as we go to some of the videos I'm talking about, or I might just link them all down the bottom in the description. So either way, you can sort of find uh, more detail about the issues we're talking about. All right, warranty issues. Um, someone once told me that if you want to buy a caravan, buy one that is two years old, because then all the warranty issues would have been addressed by the previous owner, and um, you should be set for the next 10 years. Um, unfortunately, there aren't many two-year-old bunk caravans on the market. Um, so just a whole lot of small things, really, for as far as warranty goes, and one kind of odd niggly teething issue at the start um, so for those of you that have been following along since the start of our adventure, way back in the start, our first night away in this caravan, we stayed local just down the road from our house, but about 10 o'clock at night we fired up the diesel heater and it blew um, air for maybe 10 minutes, hot air for 10 minutes, and then just went cold and air code on the screen. And the error code was pointing to there not being fuel. So I crawled underneath and I realized that the fuel line was actually, or had been touching or had, was wrapped around the exhaust pipe of the heater. So the exhaust pipe got hot, melted the fuel line and the fuel was just dripping on the ground. So I was able to fix that myself. It's just kind of a bit niggly because it's a brand new caravan. We paid a lot of money and I'm under there at 10 o'clock at night Googling how on earth do diesel heaters work. Um, but I fixed it and the fuel line's been fired ever since. Uh, warranty issues, I guess just a small list of just niggly things. The grey water tank was dripping when we picked it up. Uh, that's a big no-no here in some campgrounds because you're not allowed to discharge any wastewater onto the ground. Uh, it turns out the thread for the, the dump valve wasn't seated properly and um, it was just loose and so the water was coming out of there. Our shower, um, in the, the shower drain there is a um, in the, in the pipe drain pipe there's a hippo filter which is like a duck bill only allows water one way and not back the other way that was either stuck open or um reversed from memory and um so smell and gray water was coming up into our shower we got that rectified um our mattress when we picked it up the mattress came in a bag like you'd buy a mattress in a big bag and the bag had a big cut on one side of it and the mattress was kind of torn and black uh, I think by the looks of things, my theory is it was dragged across a concrete floor and it kind of melted a bit. Um, so that, that was a ma again quite small because the mattress wasn't defective technically, it's just it was new so a bit niggly. Um, a light up here above me was cracked mattress. Oh and some of our drawer and cupboard catches just weren't catching. So there's a drawer under our dinette we keep all our baby bibs and cloths and all that sort of thing and, and you just couldn't lock it you push the latch and it did nothing um, we took it into Alliance RV in Tauranga where we go for all our sort of servicing in Rosie and I was surprised at how painless it was to get everything fixed so they're a Jayco certified um, warranty company basically uh, among other brands and so it was kind of like took it there dropped it off in the morning we went to the beach picked it up end of the day and sign here on this warranty form and see you later. Um, the service manager there at Alliance really impressed me because um, there was like, so they fixed all the latches, but they went through and checked all the latches. Some of them were quite like the, the harder to shut some of the cupboards. So they went through and adjusted all of those. I know I could have done that as well. I had people say to me, hey, you could have just adjusted the latches and I could have. But we paid a lot of money for this caravan, like I said, so I didn't think I should have to. Um, they sorted the plumbing out, they sorted the tank out, they uh, readed the valves on that, readed the HEPA valve, um, buttoned all that up. And then, so 
the mattress they weren't sure about because it has to go back to Jayco Australia and same with the light switch uh, the light uh, strip sorry he didn't have any of that plastic in stock and I was quite impressed because I got a call like a couple of weeks later to say uh, I've talked to Jayco Australia I've got a brand new mattress here for you um so we swung by one day and they just replaced our mattress which kind of surprising because it would have had to come all the way from Aussie and then uh, or maybe from Jayco Auckland town to Alliance and so yeah, within a month of taking it in we had a new mattress which I wasn't too concerned about the mattress but um they kind of um you know stood in my corner I guess about that and went back to Jayco and then a couple days after that a piece of the light strip that didn't have a crack in it showed up in the post from Jayco Australia so they sorted that too so really impressed with Alliance all the warranty issues were a breeze um, I understand our issues were kind of a bit smaller than some of the videos I watch online where people have kind of um, bigger problems but um, yeah pretty painless so far to get all those issues sorted so modifications and improvements we've made to the caravan uh, a few things um, in these back cupboards here um, and again we made a video about this uh, which I'll link I'll link all these modification videos down below but we were having issues with condensation in these cupboards um, so what we ended up doing was buying an adhesive um, kind of felt wool it's a synthetic water resistant carpet square that uh, we stuck to the back of those cupboards um, and our condensation issues went away which was really nice uh, another thing that happened just a couple of weeks ago was we removed the washing machine so when we bought this caravan we opted for the Sphere 3.3 kg washing machine option and um, it just wasn't practical for us it used a load of water um, nearly 80 litres for a full load and for the amount of washing we have as a family of five it just it wouldn't have ever kept up so laundry mats are a lot more practical for us um, so we're going to use that as a bit of a laundry hamper um, we also added bunk nets to the middle and top bunk so uh, these are a part and accessory you can buy from Jayco uh, Jayco Christchurch helped us order these and basically they are fixed to the bottom screwed in and they're this metal bar and they have a clip in each corner and so this stops the kids rolling out um, our twins kind of swing around on these and they're quite sturdy so this is where the two girls sleep uh, Piper and Ruby both sleep in this bed and Harvey sleeps up the top um, we didn't bother putting a bunk net on the bottom bunk because if you fall out of the bottom bunk you fall about five centimeters before you hit the floor <laughs> so um, we didn't bother putting one down there but those have been a really great sort of safety addition to the uh, the caravan another thing Harvey and I did was remove the microwave for some more storage um, for our breakfast stuff and fruit and that sort of thing uh, we never used it and it only worked on 240 volt just like the washing machine so for that freedom camping off-grid style camping just well, I think we used it once in a year so we just got rid of it we put it in storage actually so when we come time to when it comes time sorry to sell this caravan in the future we can just uh, whack it back in um, and the last thing we did or uh, around the electrics was we installed a GPS tracker a little review on that the orchid uh, GPS tracker quite a cool little tracker pretty cheap as well um, and we installed USB plugs up um, by our bed head so the USB plugs in this caravan are down below the dinette at floor level I'm <laughs> like we are legs are and so obviously when we've got two young girls crawling around we can't have like I can't have camera batteries charging down on the floor right so I installed a couple um, in the sort of cubbies at the head of our bed which have just been awesome because you can just tuck your phone in there or your iPad or whatever and um, leave it charging. So yeah we've done a few mods, we put a, obviously a bunch of 3M hooks around the place as people tend to do. Uh, put them in the shower where we hang like our squeegee and um, we hang like our, our girls bibs like after we wash their um, raincoat sort of bib things they eat and we hang them up in the shower to dry, uh, things like the towel. Oh, that I've pulled down already <laughs> the towel hooks and that sort of thing so um, yeah a bunch of little mods and like I said I'll list them all down below in the descriptions so if you want to check any of them out um, yeah go crazy so on the outside there's only a f probably three things to note um, one was we pulled a bunch of the Jayco decals off we put our own adventures with Rosie ones on there Jayco plaster the name all over this thing uh, and we wanted a bit more space so 
pulled off a couple of the decals on the uh, side here and on the back. Another really um, minor thing on the outside is this door latch here. And um, so this loop is responsible for holding the door back. And you can see one side of it's actually pulled out there. Um, I don't quite know what's supposed to hold that into the hole, um, but I suspect Harvey's swinging on that and maybe being a bit too rough with it's pulled that out. So it kind of just sits in there. It's sort of staying where it's supposed to, but I um, don't know if it's going to fall out one day and become a problem. Now the main um, wear and tear on the outside is actually around the other side. I'm just hiding from the wind over here, but Chelsea and I went to a campground in Waihi Beach. Beautiful campground, stunning location, but it had a hedge all down one side of the driveway. We'd only had this caravan a couple months and we put a scratch almost the whole way down <laughs> the bottom of it um, against that hedge. There must have been a trimmed branch, you know, a pruned branch or something that just caught it and put a mark down the other side. So I'll show you that quickly. That's probably the only noticeable sort of wear and tear on the outside, unfortunately. So I realized just as I was filming that scratch, it's not really as bad as I thought it was. Um, I could probably buff it out right, but I have a feeling that um, bottom piece of the caravan is like a vinyl stick on and it's kind of like almost if you took a knife to it right and, and scratched it. So I think maybe some of those scratches could be buffed out. Not sure about the other ones. Um, other than that, the outside's faring really well. Uh, it gets pretty grubby, like the front section of the caravan, obviously if you go through roadworks or down a dirt road, gets real grubby. Um, the lid of this, you know, gets really grubby, but and I'm um, covered in dead bugs, but I guess that's its job, right? <laughs> um, covers that front window. We also put our uh, rosy, um, name the name Rosie <laughs> up the top there and a GoPro mount a 3M um, sticky backed GoPro mount which has actually stayed on there a year and it's not even close to coming off so um all in all the outside I think faring pretty well on this but uh, we've looked after her take good care of her all right so wear and tear on the inside it's been pretty good so far um one thing I did notice down here was I got these over the rail sort of hooks that hook over um, your cupboard and on the back of them they had quite a sharp metal edge and that actually scratched this cupboard up here um, so hence why I've got some red of all colors insulation tape over the corner of these to stop that rubbing I guess just with towels on it and it kind of like rubbing as we drove it scratched that cupboard um, yeah a bit unfortunate because there's no way you're buffing that out <laughs> um, the other strange thing up in this caravan is uh, this upholstery up here so the main bit of wear and tear in this caravan is actually right here on this leather piece um, part of the dinette so we opted for the l-shaped dinette in this caravan rather than the the booth style and we paid extra for the leather or fake leather or whatever it is uh, option that you can pay for um, purely so we can clean it easy for the kids now down here on this edge of this capping which you can't quite see hopefully it focuses you can see it's starting to come away on the whatever the wood is it's under this here obviously sharp and it's starting to wear through there um, a bit hard to see on camera sorry but basically starting to fray and come through there and um, so what we have to do basically is we get a sheet an old cot sheet that we've had from um, when our girls were in cots we tuck it under here and we fold it over and tuck it down the side of the bed so we hide all this in like an old flannel sheet I, I can't see it taking much for this to actually break through um, and obviously when we come to resale that would look horrible if there's just a big rip in the leather there um, i guess in theory you could take this whole thing off right it's probably in a few screws and get the thing reupholstered but um yeah bit of a shame so in conclusion the first year i think she's done all right um you know the odd scratch here and there um comes with the territory i guess of owning a brand new vehicle and having small children <laughs> um you know there's constantly fingerprints all over the windows in here and um, they're constantly playing with catches. Harvey loves this door handle on this door. If, if you ever see a video in the future of me replacing that door handle, chances are it's because he's been swinging on it. You know, the windows have all sort of latches that kids just love playing with. So um, yeah, I suppose the real test of this caravan is gonna be this coming year. So literally in January 1st, 2021, or maybe a couple of days after January, we're going on the road full time. We're going down to the South Island in New Zealand. 
uh, and we're going to live in here in this little 19 foot caravan so that'll be the real test i guess of how um well everything lasts now i know there is an argument to be made that caravans aren't built to be lived in full time or uh, well, some brands are and some aren't so um yeah october 2021 i'll do this exact same video but uh for rosie's second birthday and uh, we'll have a look then probably gonna have a few more scratches and that sort of thing but uh i guess that's um that comes with it right um service wise i forgot to mention that rosie did have her first service so um you get like a three month or four month service i can't quite remember the idea being you basically pick it up you have a bunch of holidays and then you bring it back in and they do a head to toe uh checking all the appliances um fittings water tanks all sorts took most of the day and she passed that service fine so um yeah, I'm really impressed with the guys at Alliance RV actually, uh, as far as the servicing and warranty issues went. Um, we chose to go and see them because they're a lot closer uh, to Topor than Aucklanders. So we bought this Jayco Caravan in Auckland, which is a four hour, four, four, probably four and a half hour drive for us. Whereas Alliance is two hour drive and it's right next to a really beautiful beach. So um, kind of a no brainer going there. So yeah, really impressed. If you guys from Alliance are watching, thanks. Uh, um, I appreciate the kind of family run business that um you know good attention to detail and, and good customer service um so yeah really impressed that all the warranty issues got rectified uh, like i said i know they were small and a lot of them i probably didn't need to bring up right like the odd cupboard catching i could have just we could have just said nothing about it but you know they said no make a list of everything that bugs you and um we'll go through it and so that's exactly what we did um so yeah like i said we're like probably by the time you see this video um like less than two months to living in this caravan so um make sure you stay tuned we've, we've got some trips planned before christmas as well we're hoping to go to beach hop which is like a real cool classic car show here in new zealand uh, we're hoping to go there for a few days check out the cars it's at fonga Matar, which is a really beautiful beach and area as well so pretty pumped to go to that so stay tuned for that um, we've got another review style video coming up soon. I just bought one of those Yeti, um, not a Yeti, sorry. Oh yeah, Goal Zero portable power solution. It's like an all-in-one lithium battery inverter um, charger sort of backup battery. So I bought one of those. So we're going to have a bit of an unbox and review of that. Um, but yeah, plenty of videos to come. Obviously you'll see more of Chelsea and the kids in the future videos as well. And we're just going to share the next year with you guys um, in the South Island of New Zealand. So it's a beautiful part of the world. We're super pumped to go down there, kind of slow our lives down a bit, hang out more with the kids, uh, hang out in nature a lot more. Um, we're really looking forward to it. So um, hope you are too. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.